Hey, thanks for watching another video from WeldingTipsAndTricks.com. Today we're going to be doing some outside corner joints in quarter inch thick. That's roughly six millimeter thick cold rolled steel. Vertical uphill. We'll also be doing a little bit of downhill. For starters, here's our settings without any gap, quarter inch steel going uphill. We're going to take a little run at this, and this is basically the pattern going to be kind of tracing the front edge of the puddle so that we make sure to get penetration all the way down into the root of the joint. And that's looking pretty good as we go here, but we're going to see as soon as I stop a little bit of an issue with some undercut on one side mainly. On that left hand side we got a little undercut, so I'm either not holding long enough there or actually it's just a little bit tough to get penetration and not leave a little undercut. So I'm going to turn the machine down just a little bit. I'm going to tweak it just a little bit. Go down to about 17.4 volts and down to just a little bit lower on the wire feed speed down to around a 170-ish. That should, that should be a little bit better. So we're going to try that now. Same exact technique. Trying not to go too far over the corner and we'll see what happens there. It looks like things are flowing pretty well all the way down into the root of that joint. Again, I'm tracing the front edge of the puddle with sort of an upside down V and I got just a tiny bit of undercut there a lot better. But now I'm going to shift gears a little bit and I'm going to do a two pass weld here on this little outside corner joint and uh, just to see what happens and we're going to do a cut and etch a test on the, at the end of this on both joints. I'm going to do a downhill root pass here and then an uphill cover pass. So I've got it much hotter for the root pass. And I'm going to stay right at the front edge of that puddle. I'm going to point the wire right up into the very front edge and kind of quite a bit of a drag angle. Then I'm going to come uphill. Now I can't run it as hot going uphill. It just won't be controllable. There's just nowhere for the metal to bite onto and there's not much area for it to fill. So I'm going to set it down quite a bit cooler than what I did for that root pass and run an uphill cover pass doing sort of just a Z weave technique just pausing on the edges and kind of moving not not spending a whole lot of time across the middle just pausing momentarily on the edges taking roughly one second to go from edge to edge that worked out pretty well but what we're going to do now is we're going to let everything cool off on both of these joints and we're going to do a little cut and etch here to see compare the difference in penetration. You can see the penetration side there where, there, where the, things were gapped going downhill. It, it punched it in there pretty good. This is a Metabo 6 inch grinder. It is no joke. If you want to do some quick cut and etch samples like this, <laughs> this makes quick work of it. You could use a porta band you could use pretty much anything, but this is really quick. So I'm going to cut out little chunks out of both little samples like this, and we're going to do a little comparison here. I'm going to cut an edge just to see the difference in the cross-sectional thickness of the weld. Now that's with the open groove, or the I should say open, open corner joint. Um, it, it, it really punched through there, and if we measure that, if we measure the thickness of the base metal, it's a quarter inch, a little more than six millimeters thick. And then we measure the cross-sectional thickness of the weld. You see that the weld is a good bit thicker. It's, it's a little bit over three-eighths of an inch thick. And that's a good thing. That means I've got a pretty much a full-strength weld there. Now this is the without a gap here, just uh, welding with a single pass. And the thing that really jumps out at me here that didn't jump out at me at first because I was so focused on looking at the weld to see if it got penetration that I really didn't even notice that straight line indication there until after the fact while I was editing the video. That appears to be a lamination. Now you generally do not want to see a distinct straight line in any inspection of a weld or metal. You would like to think that metal is pretty much defect free but that's just not always the case. So the AWS defines a lamination as a discontinuity or separation of metal generally aligned with the working surface of a metal. So this was worked in one direction. It's cold rolled steel and so it's possible to get laminations in there. But let's talk about the weld again. We'll focus on that later. The weld thickness, the cross-sectional thickness didn't match the base metal. It's less than quarter inch. 
and with that two pass weld where we did a downhill route and then an uphill pass it was thicker than so that's just a little observation a little something to learn I will try to polish this further and further characterize that little line and see what's up there in a future video the more I test like this the more I stop and pay attention polish cut and etch the more I learn and the more I discover that I want to test more because there's always something to learn so thanks for watching we'll see you next time